Hi hey guys, today I'm going to go ahead and explain how to do the line section on your elements of our project. So whenever you're doing a project, it's always important to make sure you know what the project requirements are before you start, because otherwise, if you have to redo it, it's just kind of a waste of time. So we're going to do uh, number seven, which is line, and it doesn't matter that it's number seven. It's just I listed all the seven elements of art in a different order. So it says choose either continuous contour line or cross contour line to draw a unique image, outline or color. So for that, a lot of you are probably like, oh, geez, what's a continuous contour line? What's a cross contour line? So we did practice this previously. So if you're not, uh, if you can't remember, there is this contour lines PowerPoint. So here is an example of cross contour lines. So it says uses lines to follow the form of a subject. It's a three dimensional picture emerges from the lines. Closer the lines are, a darker an area will appear. The more curved lines equals the rounder an image will appear. So that's one option. You can also do continuous contour line, which looks something like this. It says never take drawing utensil off of the paper until the drawing is complete. And it's a single line follows the form of your subject. The tip of your utensil should always be touching the paper. All right, so let's go to the document camera and we're gonna see how that's gonna look. So I'm gonna find the line section of my project, which is right here. And I want to think of some sort of theme that I could do in my project. Now, um, there are times that people have decided to do an eclectic theme or they've done it all about me, which could be different things. On mine, I did uh, mine a summer theme or a beach theme. So every time I did it, it had to do with some sort of summer because I love summer. Well, I usually love summer. I didn't get to do a lot of fun stuff this summer, but I do love summer. So the difference is with this line section is I changed the requirement this year. So this line section, the lines on the surfboard, although it is a demonstration of line, it doesn't meet the requirement that we have today because this is not a cross contour line or a continuous contour line, okay? All right, so here's my line section. So I need to think of first something that I could draw. So a lot of times just staring at the white piece of paper is not productive. You can use your Chromebook to figure out different things you can draw. So I would look up, let's say I want to do um, food and I am going to do, let's say, a cupcake. I think I'm going to use cross contour line and we're just going to see how it goes. So first of all, I'm going to draw like an outline of the cupcake because mine's going to be food themed. Again, if yours is not, you know, food themed, you, you don't want to make a cupcake. You want to draw something completely different than me, but I'm just giving you an example. Okay, so this is my cupcake. It's got a lot of icing on it. If you have a cupcake, you might as well have a lot of icing on it. Okay, so now what I need to do is I need to create cross contour lines that shows kind of the effect of the icing. So if it's kind of a curved, I probably want to create curved lines. Let's see how this works. So if I put the lines closer together, it's going to give it the effect that it is darker and if i make them further apart it'll give the effect that it's lighter so right here i made them closer together and it gives the effect that it is uh dark all right so normally like the cupcake has the lines that go like this but i also want it to have like a curve so i think i'm going to make the lines across instead i'm going to change this right here So this is an example of a cross contour line, and I'm trying to give the illusion of the curve. So this is one way to do it. If I wanted to do a continuous contour line, then I would need to basically draw the cupcake, which I can draw the cupcake without taking my pencil off of the paper. So anything that I wanted to do I would need to make sure that it's my 
pencil doesn't go off of the paper. I like this one better. I think it looks a little bit more professional, but that's how you would do that. Now I could create like a table in the background if I wanted to. Okay. Maybe I create uh, some basic wallpaper. I have super ugly wallpaper in my house. I'm going to have to show you sometime. I need to redo it. You can use a ruler if you need to. If you want a straight edge for a design, that's totally fine. So in the line section then, after you get finished, it says you need to either outline or color it or both, honestly. So if you have a Sharpie, you can go over it in Sharpie. If the lines got too dark, you can go back and make them lighter before you do the Sharpie. If you have a black pen, you could use a black pen. If you have um, a black colored pencil and you think it looks good, you could use that. So basically we're just using what we have and making it look as nice as possible with keeping with creativity. Remember, it should be creative. And also making sure we're demonstrating how to do continuous contour line or cross contour line. So I'd go through, get this all outlined. I'd finish that. Then I can go in with my colored pencils. Now, just because I said, um, you know, color it, you could do shading if you wanted to. Shading is not a requirement on this, but I don't know. I always just like to do it. So I could take my colored pencils and even do some shading with this continuous contour line if I wanted to. But really, the whole thing, if it, if it feels like it needs it, should be in color. Sometimes people have ideas where it doesn't make sense to color it. If that's you, then talk to me about it so I know what I'm grading it. You just, that was your idea and you didn't uh, just like be lazy. Okay, so I would go through and then color that section. Um, the background, if there's color here, if it needs it, you can go ahead and color that too. Um, because this is continuous contour line, if you have markers at your house and you want to use markers or gel pens or whatever, um, you are welcome to use that there. Um, if you're going to Sharpie, only Sharpie in this section. Don't Sharpie everything else because if you make a mistake, then I can't fix it. Last but not least, just a reminder of copyright laws. Um, if you have a, like, let's say SpongeBob or something like that, those things are copyrighted. So you need to try to stay away from copyrighted images. If you have further questions about the line section, please let me know.